Hey there everyone, Eli coming at you again from the fish room of Coventry here today to show off our latest saltwater fish order. Today is August 21st and all these fish came in last night, but I wanted to give you all a run around, kind of see some of the variety that we got in to offer. We did get a whole bunch of different types of fish in, but these tanks are as packed as they have been in quite some time. We do apologize that these tanks have been a little bit on the empty side for the past couple weeks, but right now they are jam packed with a whole bunch of variety, whether you want small stuff or a large fish only fish, we've got a really good variety to offer at the moment. And I do believe we do plan on doing another order within the next week or two to make sure that these tanks stay nice and packed and to fill up our grot and store once those systems are ready. Without further ado, I wanted to just kind of go tank by tank and show you guys a little bit of what we have to offer. So this first tank up here has some of the larger fish to offer. There is a beautiful blonde naso tang front and center right now. Really gorgeous color on this guy and a decent size, probably four inches or so. There's also a smaller Desjardini sailfin tang, beautiful Niger trigger fish, a midnight angelfish, and a Diana's hogfish. This guy's a really cool type of hogfish, something you don't see very often, but a more aggressive, larger species of wrasse. Down bottom, we have a small handful of fish as well. There's another one of those Diana hogfish. Beautiful powder blue tang that is really fat, good size to him as well, and seems to be getting around just fine so far. There is also a couple of these devil's lionfish, a really cool addition for a larger fish only or more aggressive reef setup. This next tank here has some beautiful antheus. These are called a scribbled antheus. Beautiful stark pink and yellow coloration on those. It's also got a smaller sailfin tang, as well as a scopus and a naso tang. Looks like there are also some smaller fish in this tank as well. A pink spot watchman, a diamond goby, and a tribal bloody to top the tank off. In this next tank down bottom, we've got a good variety of fish as well. There's both a blue eye coal and it's a mini tang. A cute little copper band butterfly that's on the smaller side, probably two and a half inches. Another sailfin tang, a couple types of flasher wrasse. This tank also has a small handful of those scribbled antheus that you saw up top, as well as bicolor blennies, lagoon shrimp goby, and a yellowfin angelfish. Up next here, this tank has another type of antheus. These are tricolor antheus. There's also a cliny butterfly fish if you have a nice fish only tank. There's a good handful of these Kupang damsel fish as well that are on the smaller side. These tend to be not as aggressive as some of your other options. Looks like there's also another Tamini Tang, a small Aptasia eating file fish, some other gobies. It looks like a Lagoon Shrimp goby, a Diamond goby, and a couple wrasses, a Six Line, and an Ornate Leopard. Down bottom here, we have another beautiful grouping of Antheus. These look like Dispar Antheus. There's also a great shoal of Bangai Cardinal fish. These are always a good option for your smaller reef tanks. Very peaceful and kind of a mid-swimming, very active fish to add to a lot of your more peaceful setups. Looks like there's also a small Scopus tang, beautiful pink spot watchman, goby, a wonderful Ibley mimic tang. This guy is probably three and a half inches in size to a decent size to start out with. There's also a couple fish that have been here a little while, namely a red spot hawkfish and an adorned wrasse that have been doing quite well for us here. This next tank up top here has a dog face puffer and another adored wrasse that have been here quite a few weeks doing quite all right for us. In addition to a naso tang that's been here at least two weeks as well. There's also a six bar wrasse in this tank, a naso tang, a beautiful Formosa chorus wrasse. This is a great larger, more aggressive species of wrasse that does better in fish only setups, but can be done in a more aggressive reef tank as well. Looks like there's also a diamond goby in this tank and another lagoon goby as well. Down bottom here, we have a clown tang, which is a beautiful addition to a reef tank, but one of the most aggressive tangs that I've come across, so it's worth being careful what you place him with. There's also a barred moray eel. This is a really cool addition as well. Most likely a reef safe with caution animal. There are a handful of smaller fish that are also being quite shy at the moment. It looks like there are yellow choruses, a black cap jawfish, Beautiful six line wrasse, another diamond goby, and a pink spot watchman, as well as a pelvic spot wrasse, and another one of those Ibley mimic tanks. And that looks to be about it for this tank. Next up, we've got a beautiful paddlefin wrasse that has been here quite a while as well. This is a really large species of wrasse that's probably best for a fish only 
but could be placed in the right reef tank as well as long as it's a more aggressive setup. Also have a small Desjardini tang and a Scopus as well as a standard Naso tang in this tank as well. Looks like there's also a small Midnight Angel cruising around this tank as well. Next tank down bottom has a beautiful Volmingi tang that's been here quite a while. He's already putting some weight on. There's another one of those clown tangs. A couple of lantern bass that have been here a little while. Another clown tang that looks to be just about the same size as the last. In addition to some smaller fish for the bottom, we've got diamond gobies, red scooter blennies, perhaps a lineatus blenny and an algae blenny as well in this tank. Next tank up top here has a beautiful Tinetti tang, a white belly chorus wrasse, which is just another type of yellow chorus. There's another one of those Kleinai butterflies up top, a good grouping of Springer's damsels. Again, these are a really nice, less aggressive option if you're looking for a small damsel fish for your peaceful reef tank setting. There's also another Aptasia file fish, another yellowfin angelfish, beautiful blue-eyed coal tang, diamond goby, and an algae blenny in this tank. Down bottom here, it looks like another clown tang. Some small Lubbox fairy wrasse. These are another really peaceful fairy wrasse if you're looking for one. Another pink spot watchman and a tribal blenny. There's also a smaller raccoon butterfly fish. Another fish great for a fish only setup. There's a small long nosed hawk, a black capped jawfish that we've had a few weeks. Some more small chorus wrasses. Algae blenny, bicolor blenny, and another small pelvic spot wrasse. This next tank here has another grouping of antheas. These are just your standard lyre tail antheas, and it looks like there's all females in this group. But if you plan on having a trio, generally you will get a male to form just by grabbing a few females. It's a great way to go about making sure that you do get a male and female grouping. There is also an Aptasia file fish up top here, some diamond gobies, another Tamini tang, Naso, tribal blenny, another pelvic spot wrasse small sailfin tang and an algae blenny as well. Last but not least here, this tank has another Tinetti tang, some scissor tailed dartfish, a black capped jawfish that's been here a little while. There may also be one or two pajama cardinals left as well as a royal grama. There's another small copper band butterfly that looks like he's already picking at the rock works looking for snacks. Another lagoon shrimp goby as well as an algae blenny, small pelvic spot wrasse, and another little naso tang as well. Alrighty, so that about wraps it up for all the new saltwater fish we got in this weekend. Hopefully some of these are speaking to you guys, and if you are looking for some new additions for your tank within the next few days, these guys should be ready to go in a day or two. In addition, we did get a good number of inverts in, especially some weird, wacky inverts that we haven't had for a while. So if you want to see what we got on that order as well, feel free to take a look at Stacy's video that she did to uh, outline all of those new invertebrates we just got in. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Please feel free to leave comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below. And as always, keep on reefing.